three more minutes. So we are back from break. Right before we left for break, we competed at GSSA for our first bid. That was our, our first competition to get our world's bid. And unfortunately, we didn't get it. Keep your chins up and strike one. Cool, that doesn't mean we're out of the game. We have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of ex execution issues that we need to work with. Everybody knows that, right? There's, it's not like a big secret. This is the first year in three years that Samoa doesn't get a paid bid from the GSSA competition. So, you know, it's a little nerve wracking. I have full faith in Eddie that he's gonna put the best routine out on the floor that's gonna help us and it's up to us to do like what he gives us. I always tell the kids, if you don't get a paid bid, you don't go to Worlds. And that's kind of the position we're in now. Kiki is reaching over her head to try to grab her ankles. Warm for stunt, quickly. Two more minutes. Over the holiday break, I decided to make some roster changes. There are still a couple of people on the team that are still lacking a little bit of skill or are just not consistent yet. And I had KK, who's a returner from last year, and you know, I asked her to come back. My name is KK, and I'm 15 years old, and I've been touring for 10 years. I've been with Cali for four years, and this will be my fourth year on SMUD. I was on the team for three years, and I just wanted a break. 10 years is a long time to be doing something over and over again, so I thought maybe I'd try something new, and it didn't work out. Hurry, you need to teach KK her spots, and. So having KK back on the team is like, it's honestly just like, it's having like one of my best friends back. I'm just happy I have my little partner back and I don't know, me and her just, we wreck havoc and that's basically what we do. So I'm just, I'm really happy to have her back. I missed my friends a lot and just being around like the cheer world, I guess. Like watching other teams and being able to go to competitions. And I'll count slower than that. She's very, very talented. She brings a lot to the team. So it, it was, I think, a smart decision to bring her back. Eddie was like, we miss you in the gym. And I was like, here I go. <laughs> Start warming up, standing time lane, let's go. Quickly. At GSSA, on day two, we hit the routine perfect. You know, we had just some timing issues or a little technique issues. I see a lot of piked over folds. That, that means we're gonna do short landing doubles. We're just gonna be addressing, making sure that our form's correct and our tumbling, that our timing is together and it's just fine-tuning the routine. Listen, we're going three to double, slap on, one. Don't move. Steps away, falling out, arms away from your body, it doesn't count. If you don't get it done in the first three times, you're gonna have to go again. One time or 100 times, it's up to you. We're just trying to add difficulty. We're trying not to be bare minimum so that we don't need to worry. We get to do it again, Mario fell, we had it incomplete. Together, one, two, and three, up, squeeze. Do it again, Sierra touched out and her legs were apart. So you guys are all crunchy with bent legs and flexed toes. We're looking at you from the back. Your ankles need to be pressed together, your legs need to be locked out, everything needs to be in the center, not this. Again. Well, I think right now we're just trying to push for the team, like we have to get everything to the max. Being back is tough, but it has to be done and has to you have to put in the work to get the results. I'm now getting back in the groove. It kind of took me a while, but it's getting there. I know we're trying to stay tight, but all of you are trying to stay tight, and you're not finishing a double. Our execution scores and running tumbling were disgustingly well, yeah, it's ugly. It's I mean, they haven't been tumbling at all. At all. The little things are the most important to Eddie. He tells us every day, you know, this team has the skill, this team has the difficulty, but if you're not executing it perfectly, if your toes aren't pointed, if your legs aren't together, then you're going to lack in the points. Our percentage of perfection just needs to be high, our execution needs to be great, our overall performance needs to be great, the pressure is on. Set up the round off full, round off double section, let's go! You see these doubles? We're really trying to push for that, like, come back because we don't have a bid yet. Like, we don't have a bid to Worlds yet. One, two, and three, and four, five, push, seven, eight, one, three, and five. We can't win the small co-ed division with mediocre boys. It doesn't work. You're all mediocre. Squeeze. And press your elbows. If we don't get a full paid bid, you know we're not going to go to Worlds. So I think that puts a lot more pressure on us to make sure that we're going out there and doing the best that we can so that we can get that bid. Listen, when you guys turn, don't move. Do you guys hear John? 
If John is talking to the boys, do you think it applies to the girls too? Yes. Come on, kids. Stop the bouncing. You're not rabbits. You're not frogs. You're not a ball. Stop throwing round off holes to get by. That's, that's the problem. You're just doing it to get by and sticking it. Stop it. Stand up. Technically, those should be round off doubles, but you're all lazy. This section is not difficulty, it's just a quantity score. Yeah, it's, it's literally it's showing that the whole team, the whole team can twist at the same time the same, in the same exact section. Make it happen, here we go. Squeeze, go. point your toes, one, squeeze, and five, and seven. Timing, one and two. All right, get out, get out. Now, quickly, get out. And again, outside. Set up pyramid, let's go. Lily, come learn the pyramid. Learn the pyramid, please. Thank you, ask Maddie. Since I was seven years old, Eddie has always put it in my head that he hates crybabies, complainers, and balkers, which means people that don't throw their skills when it counts. When you're given a job, we're expected to do it. There's no in, and ifs or buts. And if she was cons consistently m missing that skill, when I know she had that skill. When you don't throw it, that's where you go, out. I don't have time. If you're not here to do what you're supposed to do, I'm not gonna coach you. You're gonna go sit in the lobby and twiddle your thumbs. Great, great. I am shocked that he kicked me out, that I was, um, I had no idea what happened. I just walked out and I was thinking of everything uh, th with the worst case scenario. And If I got kicked out of the gym, I would be very scared for my life because Eddie gets really scary when he gets mad. Here we go, squeeze. Do what you're supposed to do. Two, three, and four. Five and seven. And oh my one God, and you killed me! You, you look like that's the first time you ever threw it. Maddie, what the hell? Why are you falling? A kid just got kicked out for not doing a double, and you're just gonna fall. Maddie, you're two seconds away from coming out of this section. Enrique, you're two seconds away from coming out of this section as well. Squeeze. You can't tumble on count, you can't be in the section. Cool, get set. Do you wanna go hang out with Ari? I think that seeing that happen to Ari, it gave the rest of us a reality check that Eddie isn't messing around. He's not joking in that if you don't do what he wants to see and how he wants to see it, then you're done. Hey guys, thanks for watching Cheerleaders and don't forget to subscribe to Awesomeness TV.